Oh my lord. Let's do this one more time. Because I used uh, YouTube's cut software. I was trying to trim the fat of this video a little bit. And it broke it. It just completely destroyed it. The audio is all messed up now. It's I'm talking about one thing that's happening at one point when it's not happening. You know, it's it's all messed up now. Apologies for this garbage that took place. I'm going to fix this right now. So um, now that I finally noticed it, thanks YouTube, because you know you would assume that everything went went swimmingly. But it didn't. It refused to go swimmingly. So yeah, let, let's do this again. One more time. Uh, so for the sake of tutorial, I'm gonna do the whole thing real fast. I, I'm I'm working on my tutorial skills. Okay, so here we go. Heck with it. Um let's see. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Minecraft launcher here. I'm gonna try and do this so that I can do it with as little up or editing as possible, hopefully. But I'll have to. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I won't worry about it right now. But yeah, it's updating. I was, I was gonna say I'll have to trim this now. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. Oh, God. Via Game Pass for people. Well, I don't need that. And are you going to shove more ads in my face? Than you already do um yeah because I, I have dungeons but i have it on steam anyway here's all my mods this is how i like to keep them this is how i like to play my mods it's just booty cheeks don't worry about it and you know if i want to play a certain mod i i like to be able to just click on it and then click play and then that's it and i don't have to open up overwolf and have it running in the background which is why I made the original tutorial before it got screwed up. Apologies again. Um, so yeah, here we're going to download a completely new mod that I've never downloaded before. I don't know which one. We're going to browse the store a little bit. Come on, let's do it. But yeah, see, this is the struggle. Let's wait for Overwolf and CurseForge to launch. And let's look at ads and let's click a play button that we may or may not be able to access offline you know which is the scary part so that's why i'm doing this for you it's a lot nicer you don't have to have crap running in the background if you have a rough you know starter pc you know this will be beautiful for you and it will help so much um so yeah let's browse some mod, mod packs um get something completely new that i don't have I uh, don't know that anything will be like that good. I would like to get something that is also a different version than, than what I would use. That way we also have to um, install uh, a version of Minecraft Forge so I can take you through that as well. Okay, how about Mine Shafts and Monsters? I have no idea what this is. It's a version, um, it's a slightly uh, older, you know, more obscure version than uh, any of the mods that I have here, which are generally 1.1, 2.2, or the latest. Um, yeah, awesome. Oh, so mine shaft and monsters, 1.16.3. All right, first thing we want to do, let's bring up a new text document. There we go. Okay, brand new tasty text document. We're going to shove this off to the side here. Oh, uh, let's see. So, yeah, 1.16.3. We'll make note of that. You could also make a mental note if you like to. If you don't want to paste it down, I'm just doing it for the sake of tutorial. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install this. And once it's done, we'll be able to look at the Forge version and everything else like that. So, um, yeah, this is the only part of Curse Forge you need is to install it. After that, I'll show you how to launch it without using Curse Forge from here out until you need to update or whatever you'd like to do. All right, we'll let this download, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it looks like we're almost done. It's uh, 
100%, but it's still installing. Awesome. Uh, so while we're doing that, let's look up Minecraft Forge here, because we probably will need it. Okay, and all you'll have to do is type in Minecraft Forge, right, and click here. Now, first, we're going to want our version, um, which we know now is 1.16.3, you know, as we took down in the text pad here. So, 0.3, we don't, we will show all versions. We don't know which of these versions here that we want of Curse Forge yet. Not until this happens. Okay, and we are almost there. Better Nether Reforge. Let's go do it up. There we go. Awesome. We got our Forge version now, which I may already have potentially. Probably not. no, no, I wouldn't. It changed. It now wants 1.16.5. Well, I'm glad we waited. <laughs> there we go. Show all versions. Okay. Which, yeah, I may, that's exactly what triggered the thought. I may already have this, but I don't know yet. Uh, 36.2.8. That's what we're looking for. 36.2.8 right there. Oh my God, I have it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that figures, doesn't it? All right. Well, anyway, basically what you'll do is you'll click here on installer three point or three six point two point eight. Okay, then you don't click anything else. You're gonna wait for this thing to count down, which it will for you if you don't have an ad blocker. If you do, click skip. It's gonna start downloading down here. And then it's going to say that this uh, type of file can harm your computer. Go ahead and click keep. It's just uh, as long as it's a .jar file, it is fine. Make sure that you don't open any .zip, .exes, none of that garbage, um, only .jar. So, okay, I went ahead and moved my .jar file right here on the desktop, just so it's right there. Like I said, make sure that it's a type executable jar file, like it says right there. Right-click on that. Go to open with Java Platform SE Binary. If you don't see this, try choose another app and see if it's in there. If it's not, you may need Java, in Java 8 installed, which most likely should be installed already because I think um, Minecraft requires this. But yeah, you go ahead and click on this and then uh, click on Install Client, click OK, and then it will say that it, it installed uh, successfully. Um, I suppose I could do it again. Heck with it. Let's see. Hopefully it won't break anything. I don't think it will. It'll just, you know, replace everything that was already there. Successfully installed client profile for Forge, for Forge version. <laughs> there it is. We have 36.2.8. And we will want to make a note of that as well. Because we'll have to select that. When, uh, yeah, which now it's five. Okay, so now we're going to go back to CurseForge. We're going to click play. We're going to need a couple of or a couple of directories in here, rather. Of course, it has to update again because for some weird reason, CurseForge also wants to install a brand new launcher for each and every mod pack, which is just ridiculous. It's just unneeded. Like, it should all bind to the same one anyway, which is what our goal is here today. Yeah, and then even, oh, it's a new and improved one, you know, just because. But yeah, look at that. Where's all my stuff? Where's all my stuff? It's still in the regular launcher. When you go to click the regular launcher, this Mine Chefs and Monsters won't be there, which is what we're trying to achieve. We want it to be there. So let's go to uh, Installations up here. Click the three dots. Click Edit. And you can click more options here. We're going to need this directory here. This is where all of your files are located. Go ahead and control C or right click copy to uh, make a note of that. We're going to paste it there. And we're also going to need the Java arguments right here. Awesome. Control C or right click copy, whichever you may do. 
and we'll paste it there. Okay, and we'll click cancel. And we can exit out of this now. We no longer need this. We don't need this either. Bye. And we'll right click on Overwolf here and click exit because we don't need it running. No more. We are golden. We have all the power now. Okay, Minecraft launcher. Here we go. This is the good stuff. And it's pretty easy. Um, wow, look at that. All my mods are back. How about that? Because it's a completely different launcher. This is the only one that's necessary. The only one that's needed. Why all the other ones are there? I have no idea. Now, I'm just making sure that monsters and whatnot, whatever that mod was, is not in here already. I forget what the mod was called. It was Mon Monsters and Mine Shafts, I believe. We'll go ahead and put that. We're going to select our Curse Forge version, which is why we made a note of it here. 36.2.8. 36.2.8, right there. And here's our directory. This is where our files are located. This way, it searches for them there, right where it installed them. More options, right? Here's our arguments right here. Go ahead and copy and paste them here. You can see here, this XMX, this is how much RAM you're allocating to Minecraft, which when it comes to mods, you may wanna add some more. Here it says XMX 2G, which means two gigabytes. I generally give about six, roughly. You might want to give four. It depends on what your system has. If your system doesn't have um, that much RAM, I would imagine it has at least four gigabytes. And remember, four gigabytes is 4,000 megabytes. You're going to need to know that here in a second because the Java arguments that get used in most of the Overwolf things, or at least the ones that are, I, I think I had this set up to install this way for all of them, um, yeah, I was using seven gigs. Um, here it says M instead of G, which means megabytes. I give it seven gigabytes, which is 7,000 megabytes. I think I put 7,000 in here and for some reason it auto added one, six, eight. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, that that's your allocated Ram right there. Just make sure that you properly change that number to what you may need for your particular mod and based on your device. But yeah, we just pasted those arguments there. That's all you have to do. There it is. Um, let's give it a, a nice redstone or something. And then click create. There it is. And now we have it. Monsters and mine shafts. Now, when we open this launcher at any point in time, it will be in here with the rest of the mods if you choose to do this with the rest of your mods as well monsters and mine shafts let's click play just to make sure that it works just to make sure everything went through nice and sweet prepare prepare for amazement okay here we go it's loading up the mod right now it's loading up all the little mods within the mod pack yeah, this is why I thought it was six gigabytes. Here it's showing uh, that many out of six, three, seven, two for some reason. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I think because I allocated seven point whatever gigs, you know, 7,130 something it was. Um, I think maybe Minecraft uses like a gig of that for itself, like it's base vanilla stuff. So that's probably why it says a maximum of six gigs there. I would imagine. I don't know that 100%, but I think that's what's going on. Constructs, constructing 261 mods, baby. Let's go. And here we are. Now we've got the, uh, the nice little whatever this is the the jpeg the fabled jpeg of legend 
it is before us. Yeah, and th that's really about it. I mean, uh, when, when allocating RAM, I have heard that uh, Java tends to goof up past 8 gigabytes. I don't know that that's 100% true, but just in case, it, it probably varies from mod pack to mod pack, but just in case, I have mine below 8, barely. But uh, freezing data. Don't freeze my data. Don't want that. Maybe I do. I don't know. I don't know. And there we are. Mine shafts and monsters. I've never played this mod before, so I don't even know what's in it. Uh, sure. New world. Oh, man. I forgot about the lengthy process of creating a new world. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in a mod pack. You know, it takes a minute. They have a whole bunch of new different kinds of assets to bring to the table here. But yeah, I'm just doing this for the sense of completion. So that, you know, you're aware it works and all that good stuff. But, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty straightforward. All we basically did was inform our main launcher of which directories to use in order to find the mod pack which was installed um there are i mean you could use other methods of installing mods if you choose um you know there are plenty of options out there there's downloading just the base mods on your own i've made a mod pack before um with just a few like basic ones like the you know the map and stuff like that the radar and uh you know other applications and such what have you but yeah th this should work uh for all of them so long as you know your directories kill the Mirmex queen to gain a special ability i mean this actually sounds pretty cool most mods are pretty awesome oh wow i reached so many goals and achievements i have no idea why <laughs> I must have, like, landed on something. Overworld Mushroom Field, sure. <laughs> the frames are so bad at first right now. For this mod pack, anyway. It's still loading everything in. Here we go. There's a boat. It's starting to get there. Come on. So with all the frame dips, it's still loading the world in. I have no idea what all is involved in this mod pack. I'm not sure exactly what what's added. But it seems to be a lot, judging. I mean, we did load into an ocean as well, which is a whole other can of worms on its own with these floaty, these floaty kelp pieces. Objective, kill a pillager. Oh my god, we're on an island surrounded by ocean. That's why it's all kinds of laggy mess. But yeah, anyway. Oh wow, it did, didn't even load that map. Where did that map come from? I don't know how jank this mod pack is. I'm not exactly sure. I've never played it before. I just wanted to try and download a new one. And then it turned out to be a Forge version that I already had anyway. Anyway, I, I hope this tutorial helped you. I really appreciate you sticking around and bearing with me through this mess. And especially the mess of my first video that was made by uh, YouTube Cuts. It's little editing software. That will be... Oh my god. Like, I have cut so many VODs with that. And now I feel like I have to go through and look at all of them. Because I bet the audio is so messed up on quite a few of them now. I can't believe it did that. Uh, that was crazy. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. Thank you for watching. This was probably more concise than the, the last one. So I, I hope I did a little bit better. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Enjoy your modage.